Hey loves, welcome back. I'm Divinely Dustin. Hey Aries, how y'all doing? How was your weekend, Aries? Hopefully you guys had a good weekend, okay? I'm gonna give you a daily message. Just a general message for today, for the sign of Aries. Remember Aries, I love you. If you resonate with this reading, please feel free. Subscribe to the channel and I like the video. I love you, Aries. So let's go ahead and tap in and see what spirit has for the sign of Aries. I love you. Archangel Michael, can I get some messages for the sign of Aries? Can I get some messages for the sign of Aries, sir? Archangel Michael, thank you for loving me and keeping me safe. Always. Rest and rejuvenation. Oh, we got rest and rejuvenation. Hope. Okay, we got hope and rest and rejuvenation. Wow. Oh, wow. We have disconnect and boredom. So maybe we have an Aries out there today that's uh, kind of bored and uh, in the house maybe. Maybe you're off today or maybe you're in quarantine and you're just in the house. But I feel like I'm picking up on the energy of someone who's resting. They're kind of bored. You may be bored. And uh, I'm even picking up on a little uh, depressed Somebody may be a little depressed, Aries. Now, this may be you. This could be someone you know. Okay? Have faith. Have hope. It's not over yet. Okay? We have the base. The base chakra. Okay? The base chakra is, is located at the base of our spine. Okay? You guys may be having a few back issues, Aries. Okay? We have emotional loss. Okay? Emotional loss. So, I see that we have an Aries that's suffering... From some sort of emotional loss, some kind of pain. Maybe you had a breakup recently. You're in your feelings. You got your head down. You don't see the sun no more, huh, huh Aries? Hey, it's still sunny out there. Go take a look outside and see. We got obstacles and changes. Wow. Most certainly, Aries. Yeah, but you have triumph and success. Triumph and success. So I see that you will come out of this victoriously. So I got five, five, uh, two fives on the board. That's indicating change, okay? We have two fours on the board, too. Yes, your guardian angels are with you, Aries, as always, okay? But yes, I see an Aries that's suffering a heartbreak. Now, this could be a male energy watching me, or this could indicate that there's a male in your life, Aries, that may be a little depressed. You could also turn this energy around, and, and um, if you're a female watching, apply this to you, okay? You may be a little depressed and sad. You may be going through some kind of obstacles, and changes, possibly due to a recent breakup, I'm hearing. Okay, maybe someone um, broke your heart, you know, and it's got you feeling sad and heartbroken and lonely and depressed. I feel like you want to reach out to this person, but you're holding yourself back. Okay, you're going through the process of this breakup. Okay, wow. Yes, wow, wow, wow. Some sad energy coming out for Aries, but you know, every reading is not going to be, you know, peaches and cream. I tell it like I see it. And I see that someone may need to just uh, pray more. We do have triumph and uh, success. So you will be coming out of this sooner or later. And some truth, some truth is going to come out of this situation, Aries. Okay. Maybe you had some questions about this person and what happened within your relationship. I'm here to tell you that there's going to be some reveals. Some truths will be revealed. And you're going to come out the victor. Okay. You're going to come out victorious. Yes. Yes. You're thinking, you're thinking, you're reflecting, okay? Archangel Michael, can I get some more messages for the sign of Aries? Beautiful. We have the Four of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles. In your heart, you're still holding on to this person. You haven't actually released this person from your heart, but you will eventually come out of this. Okay, yeah, didn't I say some truth? We got the Ace of Swords coming out again. I think you need clarity. You need some clarity so you can move on. You may need closure. Okay, we do see this card here. Triumph and success. Okay? Yes, you need some clarity. You need to know what really took place. Maybe someone uh, cheated on you or... I'm, I'm feeling like someone did a, a serious betrayal here to you. I have the number one one. So, you know, just try to keep your thoughts positive, Aries, because, you know... Your thoughts are going to manifest uh, rapidly at this time, so you want to manifest great things for yourself. So focus on the positive, okay? Yeah, focus on the positive here. I feel like you're going to get clarity. At the end of the day, you will, you will find out what happened. Okay? King of Wands. Okay? 
You may be dealing with a Sagittarius, a Leo, or another Aries. Okay, yeah, this person was, uh, or this could be you, but I'm picking up on their energy. Yeah, this person was uh, very gorgeous and sexy and handsome, very passionate and uh, very social. But at the same time, he was a tad bit close off, and you weren't, you were not too sure about, um, yeah, compatibility. I'm hearing and faithfulness. Maybe he had a little sneaky side to him that you just could not trust. Ace of Pentacles. Wow, beautiful. I see abundance coming in for you. This person may want to try to come back and give you uh, some kind of uh, gift here. Something major. This is major. The Ace of Pentacles is major. Now, this could also indicate that the universe is going to reward you for going through the healing process because you're in the healing process, okay? You're grieving. You're um, at an emotional loss here, but you will recover, and you're going to be more uh, abundant, abundantly successful than before because you do have triumph and success, okay? I see the universe is going to reward you because I feel like you were the person that was hurt here, and uh, you were the one that was left in pain, yeah, and I see the moon back here. So there were some secrets hidden from you. You may be in hermit mode right now. We have hermit. You could have been dealing with a Virgo, okay? Or you may have Virgo in your chart. But I feel like you've gone within, okay? You are going within. You're healing. You're staying back from the situation. I don't feel like you're contacting this person because I feel like you're going through the process of healing. You're reflecting on this person, though. You're thinking. You're thinking. And I'm picking up on a lot of male energy, so this could be a male watching me. Or this could be the male energy that I'm picking up on that uh, he could be hurt. He may feel like you did him wrong and cheated on him and left him at an emotional loss, okay? Take the rose how it resonates, but there's someone here that's gone within. This person is kind of like staying back to themselves. They're staying to themselves and they're not being very social because they're hurt and they're healing. Now, Aries, as I stated, this could be you or this could be the other person's energy. Yeah, we got the nine of cups. This person could be uh, drinking quite extensively. This person could be partying just to heal. Um, also, this person could just be going out with a lot of different people and uh, doing a lot of wild stuff just to help them get over the loss because they feel this loss too. You were somebody they really wanted. You were someone that uh, they hope that they could have a life with, okay? But somewhere down the line, somewhere down the road, something happened here and it was a disconnect, possibly a bad breakup. And um, I feel like both of you guys are hurting right now. But this person that was uh, your ex, I'm going to call him an ex because I feel like this is a breakup reading. But yeah, this person is still wishing for you. This person is still hoping for you. This person may want to come back and give you something major here. Major, okay? They want to get back in your good graces, but maybe um, right now is not a good time because I see that you're in isolation. You're healing, this person is clubbing. This person is out partying. This person is thinking about you, though. This could also indicate that he's drinking how or she's drinking quite extensively. Or this could indicate that you are Aries to deal with the pain. Okay, you're, you're by yourself. You're with a select few. Okay, I'm hearing a select few. But you're mostly hanging back, bored, sad, depressed, lonely. And you're praying. Okay, but you're going through that healing process. The other person, they're just out trying to ignore this pain. They're trying to ignore the pain, and they're just trying to continue to just go on. They're not actually dealing with the breakup, okay? They're not dealing with it. Okay? Yes. Page of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles, okay? We see that this person definitely wants to communicate with you. They definitely want to communicate. They definitely are at a crossroads with the Two of Wands. Okay, I have a lot of fire energy on the board. So, yeah, most certainly this person is trying to make some kind of comeback in your life. Okay, they're trying to figure it out. They're trying to piece together a plan. And at the very least and at the very minimum, this person uh, definitely wants to communicate with you. Okay. This person, uh, yeah, he's quite beautiful. You're quite beautiful. And you guys were a power couple. You guys were very beautiful together. But maybe it was a lack of finances. Maybe somebody was holding back on their funds. Maybe someone was hiding money. I feel like, yeah, there was some kind of, uh, some sneaky stuff going on with the finances here. It ultimately caused the breakup, okay? But yeah, this person, uh, he doesn't have a lot to offer at this time. But what he does have to offer or what she does have to offer, she definitely wants to come back in and give it to you to get back in your good graces. Yeah, beautiful. They definitely want to come back, okay? 
Four of Cups, this is you, Aries. This is your energy. Yeah, you're bored, you're stressed. You, um, you may have other options that you may be refusing. You're not interested in anyone right now because you're still dealing with a heartbreak that you're trying to heal from. Maybe the universe is trying to bring people or a special person into your life. But you're downright refusing um, any kind of commitment or anybody. You're rejecting. Okay, I'm hearing rejecting. You're rejecting offers from people right now because, uh, quite frankly, you're healing from a heartbreak. And your, your person is, they're hurt too, but they're dealing with it in a different way. Yeah, we got the Ace of Cups. There was an abundant amount of love here, okay? This could also indicate that there's an abundant amount of love that's waiting for you that is, that is also coming into your life, okay? But you got to be receptive and ready. And I feel like the universe is not going to send someone into your life that they have for you if you're not ready. But this could also indicate that it's on the horizon. Someone may have had their eye on you, okay? One, two, three, okay, maybe a long time. Maybe someone from your past has been watching you and uh, really had an interest in you. But maybe you took another route, okay? But this person still has their eye on you. And this person actually still wants to be with you, okay? Wow, we have the Empress. Hey, Imp. Now, Aries, this is you. You may be a mother, okay? This could have been your husband. This could have been the father of your child, okay? But either way, go, you're a strong, powerful woman here. And I see that you have quite a bit of suitors that are interested in you, okay? I'm seeing, uh, yeah, at least four. But a lot of these are pages, so yeah, it's just a lot of infancy, a lot of interest, right? No one is coming with a strong offer. But we do have the Ace of Cups indicating there is at least one person that does want to offer you stability. But I feel like right now you're just trying to heal from a bad breakup. If this is not a bad breakup that you're experiencing, experiencing this emotional loss from, this could be just depression. Maybe you lost a job. Maybe you lost a dog. Maybe you lost an animal. Maybe you lost a relative. Okay, there's some sort of uh, emotional loss here, okay? And it's got you in your feelings, and you really don't want to be bothered with uh, people, although you have a lot of options on the table, Aries. Okay, you are the empress, and you are beautiful, and you do radiate a golden light that is attractive to others. Okay, you uh, magnetize people out here, but choose wisely, but don't rush into anything. Okay, take your time, heal your heart, but there is at least one person that definitely wants to come and uh, give you that commitment if that's what you want. And at the very least, there's a friend that really loves you. And has your best interest at heart. So yes, Aries, um, I hope that resonated with you. If it didn't, okay, this may be for someone you know. Okay, but always remember to take the roles how it resonates. Okay, I love you guys and I pray that you guys have a great week. God bless you.